yeah so hello everyone welcome to learn photoshop in this tutorial is a speed art photoshop so first of all i'm creating my document and i'll make sure the resolution is set to 300 and i have set the color mode to rgb after that we have this document this is a speed art if you're a beginner you want to learn this you can download the video then use a player and slow down the process so that you can watch it well okay so after opening your uh, work this is what you are going to get i've added a rectangle as my background now i'm going to create another shape here by using the pen tool please just feel free and do what you want to do just feel free so follow the steps as i am doing feel free do what you like then we are going to use the table to to manipulate the shape that we created to get something like this okay so just follow along as i do then you do the same thing like this okay the images i use and whatever i use you can download them from online and then practice along but if you need a star like what i'm doing just follow along with this video and you will be okay with it okay it says speed that so but if you follow along, you will get what I'm trying to say. So, uh, if you're a beginner, as I said, download the video, use a player, slow it down, and then watch it. You get it? Okay. So, we have this one. So, I'm just creating another shape here, like this. Okay. The, most of you will use this star to create designs. You just need to use the pen tool and then. That's it. So I'm just adjusting what I created. So I'll create it like this. Okay. So make sure you know how to use the pen tool. That's why I said this one is for advanced people. If you're a beginner, you can also watch it. Okay. So from here, I'm going to add a gradient to my work. Okay. Sorry, color overlay like this. Then, after adding the color overlay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a list. I'll make three copies of that. Okay. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Three of them. Then I'll make sure they are on the same alignment. Okay. So, from here, I'll check the alignment. What I'm doing is I want to create something like this. So, the other one will be like, I'll push the middle one up and then I'll make a copy of that one. The last one over it. So, as you can see, the first element that I created, the yellow one, is now the borderline. Okay. So instead of me creating a circle and adding a stroke to it, I just created two circles. And one is the borderline, and the other one is the main way. That's what I did here. From here, I'm just cutting them together using this star. I just a star. I'm just adding a star. If you like, you will ignore it. But if you want to add some kind of uh, star to your work, you can do that and then i will go in for the grid to check for the alignment if they are all aligned as you can see the last one is not aligned i mean the one on the right side is not aligned to the one on the left side so at the end we have to do some corrections there i will drag that shape down to the bottom. then i'm going to do a little bit of adjustment here okay something like this then i'll it yes something like this after it i can see that uh they are all aligned then yeah we are good to go so from here what do you think we are going to do are you guys all right but uh, please if you have not subscribed to this channel please do something for me go in and subscribe subscribe and then get more from us and if you have a design style you want us to design for you if you want just uh dm me and then i will help you out okay so i'm going to create another shape here using the pen tool oh uh, never mind how i'm doing it but i just use the pen tool to create something like what i'm going to do i made a mistake so i'll redo that so um, that's why i said feel free you see i made a mistake i deleted it then i'll come back again and do the correct thing i'll go for the cable to uh, do the adjustment this is what i wanted to do at least but i was so 
have created this sheet. Now we have the whole work done. This is the background. I mean, the main background of this. I'll group it and you know, control the so grouping as you know. Then I'll go in and then bring in the pictures. I downloaded this picture from online. If you need one, just go in and Google and start. This is a hair uh, design for hair product. So you look for hair wigs, wig, W I G S wigs. Okay. Then I will bring this lady, beautiful lady. Oh my God, this lady is beautiful. Oh my god. Never mind. So I will sample the color of a background. Then I'm going to use that color for my background. So my first shape that I created, I've used that one for the background. You can see that there is a white space in between the picture and then my background. Never mind, you can ignore it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the images, different styles to the shapes I created. Like this one. I'll drag in like this. Oh, these ladies are beautiful. Come on. When you go online, don't download any image because this one is going online. So if you go and download Mumu and you place it on it, then your design will be Mumu. So the images also affect the design you are doing. So we have this. Okay. Then you drag in like this. Oh my God. This lady is killing me. Then you bring this lady in here. Clip it, you are just the size like this. Yes, like this. The, the image, oh, uh, yeah, it's not quite fitting to my shape, so I will do a little bit adjustment with it. Then I will make sure I'll reduce the size, it's too big, you can't even see the face. Well, I'll come back and do that. Then I'll bring in the third one. Oh, this lady, are you human being or you are a toy? Uh, Oh, maybe never mind. So I'll just bring in the pictures. Yeah, as I said, I've come back and then reduce the size like this. Then from here, you see, I'm getting troubles there. So what I'm going to do now is I'll rasterize this image and then remove the background so that it fits the white background there. I'll do same for the toy like image like this and then remove the background. Rasterize, remove background. Very simple way of removing background in Photoshop. If you don't know how to remove the background, just go to my picture and uh, my videos and look for how to remove a background in simple way. Rasterize, remove background. That's all. From there, I downloaded a uh, logo from online. So I'll bring in this uh, logo here. And don't forget, we are going to add a color overlay. And you want to uh, add a color overlay, you are rasterize the image and make sure you remove the background before you add a color overlay so that it will not be like um so that you get the exact logo so this logo has no background so we can add our color overlay i don't like this color i want too much so i'll add black as my color overlay like this yes we have this now what we're going to do is to add a test to it the test i have them here okay start by golden i'll copy it and then i will paste it's here like this then let's do modification to our design so we can say let's start with capital letter for each star by golden okay and then reduce the size more so i'm going to select all and then reduce the size as you can see i'm feeling free with my design i'm not um kind of uh, you know just relax relax for the design and then do something okay anything you think it will be nice just bring it on board okay so as you are watching this video you are learning things from it so um that is how i learned mine and you can also learn it i am a self-taught designer so you can also be self-taught as well and if you are professional too, you can also watch and get more. So I will add the gradient and I will do a little bit of the angle. I will manipulate the angle. I will change the scale. And then we have the star bar gold. So when we have something like a gold like design, it will be nice like this. Yeah. What do you think we can do? I'm just checking how my gradient will be look like. So never mind. From here, I will add a drop shadow. 
as you can see i've added my drop shadow but you see the drop shadow is making some star star be here so i'll add a stroke okay let me finish then i'll add a stroke like stroke like this as you can see it looks like a 3d but this one is not dope this one is um a 3d like of uh, sign so when you add a shadow and the word stroke definitely you will get a 3d like one then i'll add a tag of the company so this is the tag your favorite air plug okay so after adding this uh, uh the tag i'm going to change the color so i'll uncheck the color overlay and the beneath overlay then i will have this color the black one is default one so now we have this but you can see the logo is too flat for me minimalistic one so i'm i will do something to my logo but before then let me uh change star by golden or to capital letter like this as you can see All right please subscribe don't forget subscribe like comment let's hear from you what you think okay so after that i'm going to add something to my logo so i'm going to add drop shadow and stroke and i told you drop shadow plus logo give you a trick like kind of something like this so we have uh our logo looks like uh, a 3d like okay so i've grouped my first set i will group the second set okay so group one and then group two now i have to add the services they provide so this will be services and you can see i am as you can see i've reduced i just had a call I'm not going to pick so as you can see you can use it like this then bring it in uh i'll bring the bulletin in like this okay um i remove the background of this okay i'll remove the background yeah and then remove the background i was saying something before i had a call so what i was trying to say please i'm sorry i just had a call so this is what i'm talking about if you want to uh if you're designing something you should make sure you limit the number of colors you use in your design as you can see i'm using only the white the gold and then the black it's like a three three colors okay three colors so you should limit the number of colors don't go in for red yellow green like Ghana black star please come on if you're designing something for Ghana black star fine you can use their colors to do but if you're not designing something for Ghana black star why then should you go in for red yellow green blue some green makes about six colors in one design what are you trying to impress here so i'll just create a duplicate of the shapes and then arrange them like this so i'm just arranging them and make sure they are aligned so as you can see it was white but i've added a color overlay to it and it's, it's matching my work now so i will drop this one down like this so i have the list here then i'll do a little bit adjustment with it from here i will just paste them okay you can use the spacing there to do or you can drag and dra drag and then do a little bit adjustment yeah so we have this one now i'll make a copy of the services like this one to we'll retain the color to white so yellow white yellow white so gold white, gold white so like this one i'll make a copy of services uh okay after this one i'm going to make another copy of this services like this yes like this from here what we are going to do now is i'll copy the services front uh, I'll bring in the next one closure and then the next one is wix with frontal closure then in the first one to capital closure okay closure, closure. Uh, uh, uh. like this okay from here copy this apply it here okay please your comments are very important to us okay so make sure you comment, give us I know, 
I know you guys positive remarks. Positive remarks. If you have anything you want to ask, you can also we will help you out. Okay, you are my boys. We are all building it together. We are all doing it together. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello, world. I love you. Everybody, please. Subscribe. Let's push this channel forward and make it bigger, bigger, mega, so that the team can create more design for you. So, as you can see, I'm just going to change the uh, font to uh, if anything, never mind. So I'll change the font. Then uh, I'll change it. Change it. What was the recording doing on this screen? So I will change it like this. Then I will make a copy like this, and then do another thing like this. Change the text. Our you can select. Oh, initially I didn't do that. You can select all the text, and then change the font at once. It does not necessarily mean that you have to change all of them or like one after the other. You can select all the text, then you go in for the font, and then change it. That's one trick in Photoshop. That most of us don't know. You, you see, some of us we just change it one, 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 but you can select all of them, change the font size, change the size. Can you even simplify the layer in the text form? This time I will teach you that. So, after creating that, I'm going to bring in the core icon. You can download this core icon from online. I want you to fish. So, go in and fish. So, I will remove the background for this one. I will reduce the size so that it will be too small like this. Then still reduce the size like this. Then I will add my number to eight like this. So I will copy the number. Then I will add it like this. So this is the call line. Then I will add something like a chat line for WhatsApp line. So this is a chat line. I will also remove the background. But make sure you rasterize it, then reduce the size. So this one is um reduce the size like this, drag it down to make reduce the size again, make a copy of the uh the number there, and oh come on, I'm delaying. I'm doing adjustment with this one. I'll make a copy, drag it down, and then select this one, make a copy, and then paste it over here like this. And then we have the two numbers in there. So after all, this is our design. But as you can see, we can change the colors of our design and make a lot of them and sell it to your customer. You can see this is the design one, this is the design two, this is the design three with different colors. Okay. And then your customer will choose from the design the color she wants. If she gave you a color, fine. But if she doesn't give you a color or he doesn't give you a color, just create multiple colors. So you can see I'm making copies of the background, the text, all of them are making copies and then changing the background. So anytime I can choose to save the black or save the pink, I know ladies like pink. Thank you for listening.